I'm using 30 Brewers in 30 Days, and today we're talking about the Prismo attachment. And I'm not kidding you, this little thing blew my mind. So I know this isn't a brewer on its own, but it definitely changes what you can do with the AeroPress, essentially making it a new brewer. It has a special valve that won't let any water through until you press down, allowing you to generate some pressure and create espresso-style coffee. Now let me be clear, it won't make espresso like you get at your favorite coffee shop, but you can get a stronger, more concentrated brew to use in drinks at home. I tried a few different recipes, all great, but my favorite was from Kurasu Kyoto because of the body and flavor. I don't think I'll ever brew on the AeroPress without this. I'm not joking, the coffee from it is so good and it's only $30. Plus, if you want a cleaner cup, you can add a paper filter and you're golden. So I'm rating it an 8.5 out of 10. And that is a Keith Lee Easter egg. For day 11, I'm using a brewer that was introduced to me by one of my favorite shops in Kansas City. I'm using their coffee and their cafe recipe. So make sure to come back and I will see you then. Okay, love you. Bye.